incredible Serengeti National Park, where every year one and a half million white bearded wildebeest and zebra move en masse to create the largest migration of land mammals on Earth. The famous Ngorongoro Crater and Tarangiri National Park, home to massive buffalo and iconic bull elephants. The highest single freestanding mountain in the world, Mount Kilimanjaro. The pristine beaches, islands, lagoons and reefs of the Indian Ocean. The second largest lake in the world, Lake Victoria, as well as some of the most diverse concentrations of mammals, birds, insects and reptiles in Africa, are just a few of the natural wonders associated with the incredible East African country of Tanzania. Inland of one of the deepest natural lakes in the world, Lake Tanganyika, the over two million acre game reserve of Moyawasi may be found. It is in this reserve that the second largest migration of mammals in Tanzania occurs. In the months of September and October, hundreds of topi antelope move from the wild areas in the north of western Tanzania towards the massive marshes and swamps that form the eastern boundary of the Moyawasi Game Reserve in search of better grazing and water. This migration, like the migration of the Serengeti and the surrounding areas, attracts the main predator species such as lion, cape hunting dogs, leopard and hyena. The Moyawasi has, due to diligent hard work and funding from hunters' dollars of the anti-poaching, become one of the finest big game hunting destinations in Africa. Foreign sport hunters from all over the world travel to the Moyawasi every year to go after massive buffalo, lion, leopard, crocodile and hippopotamus, as well as an assortment of plains game animals, some of which, such as the topi and East African bohor reedbuck, are endemic to western Tanzania. The western boundary of the Moyawasi Reserve is formed by the largest river that feeds the massive Lake Tanganyika, the Malagarasi River. The Malagarasi flows from Burundi for hundreds of kilometers, forming swamps, marshes and floodplains along its journey, before entering Lake Tanganyika. These diverse habitats are lifeline to an incredible array of game and bird species of western Tanzania. Until very recently, little was known of the fish that occur in these wild areas, and in particular, the Malagarasi River. Tristan Peacock heads up the anti-poaching for one of the largest safari companies in Tanzania, Adam Clements Safaris, who has a long-term lease on the Moyawasi Reserve. Tristan, over the past two years, has mainly concentrated on the poaching of fish and game along the Malagarasi. What he discovered about the fish species that occur in the river was truly astounding. Malagarasi River is close on 400 kilometers coming from Burundi. It's a unique system in the sense that there's waterfalls, so the upper end of the Malagarasi is its own ecosystem. No influence comes from Lake Tanganyika. It's a special place in the sense that we've got big swamp lands. It's the first Ramsar site in Tanzania. And the bird species, the fish species, there are quite a few species that are endemic to this, this area in particular. The biggest difficulty is trying to find research on this area. Um, there isn't a hell of a lot um, that we can work on. So a lot of the work that we're doing now is pioneer work. We're opening up to see what there is because we don't have a lot of reference to work off. Over the years, certain rivers in Tanzania have become renowned for the ultimate freshwater species, the fiercest fighting and one of the most challenging fish in the world, Hydrocyanus vitatus and Hydrocyanus goliath, or what are commonly known as tigerfish. Whilst patrolling the Malagarasi, Tristan discovered that the river is inhabited by these incredible predator fish and was amazed how big the tigerfish grew compared to the size of the river. He caught a number that exceeded the magical 20 pound mark as well as Vundu, a massive catfish, some of which were 50 pounds and more. It's a very unique system in the sense that you get exceptionally good tiger fishing. It's one of the best places that I've ever fished in um, as, as far as the fishery is concerned. You know, versus other areas, just the quantity and the quality and the size of the river, nothing actually doesn't fit into the parameters. You know, you normally think a big river provides big fish. We have got a small river and it provides big fish. Western Tanzania, no one's seen it as, a, as an area to come to, really, I would think. 
in a sense because historically it's never been open to fishing. Even Lake Tanganyika, you know, there's very few places that you can go to to fish. Most of the Malagarasi goes down the Moyawusi Game Reserve. It's predominantly hunting. No one's looked at this river as a, as a fishing destination. It's been a hunting destination over the years. Um, there have been professional hunters and other operators been here and the odd person fishing in the lower Malagarasi, but the upper Malagarasi, there's been no access. I think that's the biggest challenge. And I think the industry's changed a lot as well. We are seeing fishing coming to the forefront now as a second to, to hunting. And that's what got this going, you know, to offer something else to the hunting. The water was here, you know, it was just a matter of coming in and having a look. No one's looked at it. You know, no, no one's really taken the time to look at what is in these waters and is it viable, you know, to, to put in the, the investment that, that Adam has put in here to develop something um, because it has Moya Horsi Game Reserve as hunting. That's what everyone's seen it as, not as a fishing destination. Game species uh, for the fishing, tigerfish is a predominant species. We get yellowfish in here. We caught a, a new species the other day, you know, for us here in, in this section of the river. The Vundu here are exceptionally big and we're catching them on artificial lures. Uh, which is very different to other places, you know, in, in my own personal experience. It's tigerfish, vundu and yellowfish that are the main species that fishermen come for. We do normal conventional fishing and then we do fly fishing as well. This is a new project, no one's done it, so we are still learning different methods, working with it, but it's all catch and release. What is most important is that we're not looking at other fisheries and competing against them and who's better. Um, Tanzania as a whole has exceptionally good fisheries that can be fished in. So this system is something that, that we are working on to develop for Moya Wasi. We're not competing. Tanzania has good fishing. I believe as far as the species that we are targeting is probably the best in Africa, in my own personal opinion. We have drift fishing, uh, where we fish the entire length of the river. Uh, we start up at the Malagarasi Bridge and it's close on, if you include all the tributaries that we work on, close on 200 kilometers of fishing. We fly camp, we have a backup team supporting us. We carry good tents with us, especially for the latter part of the season where you might get the odd late rains. And you drift and where you stop, that's where you camp. And we'll do the entire system. The boats are fully equipped, got fridges, freezers. All the comforts and luxuries that can be provided, we do provide them. We do have the option of that if someone is tired and they want to rest, we can stop off from the main camp. But normally, typically, we drift for two days, spend two days in the main camp, and then drift for two days. And then we get a pickup and we go direct to the, to the airport. Then they have the other option of coming to stay and fish directly from the main camp. And we will drift downstream where the boat stands. We will have a pickup. We don't like to run the boats up and down the river. Um, it is a very small system. Lengthwise it's big, but the width of the river is not nice. We don't want to put pressure on the fish. We try and take away as much activity as possible on the water. So we'll stop. Wherever we stop the boat that day, we will come back and then go back the following morning. You have luxury facilities here. You have showers, beds, tents, Tanzanian tents, Tanzanian mess tent. It's fully equipped. It's got everything. It, it's a camp. It's a full-on camp. You know, and all the fishing that, that we've done on the river, we've caught big tiger fish, big vundu, and had a chance at a big vundu. I mean, there's a lot of structure underneath, so when you do hook into a big vundu, he's going to take you a long way. You should have the opportunity to land anything onto 20 pounds. Nothing's guaranteed, but you will have the opportunity to land a big fish. We're unique in a sense that Adam Clemens Safaris has got virtually the entire system. There is no big agriculture in this area. Albeit there's been, there have been pressures in the past from poaching, it is still a flourishing ecosystem and there, there are no poisons or toxins that have been put into the system. It's a clean river system. There's no plastic, no rubbish. That in itself says a lot because it tells us that whatever's happening up north is being looked after as well. Clients should bring anything, you know, if, if they're fishing conventional, you know, 4,000 reel. The reason we go for a little bit bigger, not a 3,000, is that if you do get into a big vundu, you need something that can handle it, medium heavy rod and 40 pound braid. And again, that's specifically the odds, the chances of getting a big vundu, you need to be able to try and be in control of the situation that you're working with.
Then was fly fishing, nine weight rod, and then the colors. Black is the predominant color in this river. Um, so anything with black and an offset to that, then you work with that. September is the start of the season where we're working. And as we get later and later into the season, as the river gets shallower, you might pick up a few late rains in November, but we've caught good fish in those three months. Those are the, the prime months that we work in. From our own experience, you'll get fewer fish in September, but you get bigger because you're not in between a lot of smaller fish. You know, and smaller fish being eight to 10 pounds, you've got to get through those smaller fish to get to the big fish. So percentage wise, you're going to fish harder in September, but you will catch bigger fish. With close to 200 kilometers of the Malagarasi River, Adam Clement Safaris now offer a tiger fishing adventure unequaled in Africa. The chance for both conventional and fly fishermen and women to land not one, but a number of these massive freshwater monsters. Tiger fish of a lifetime. How about that? How about that? That was incredible. Oh, they're strong. Malala Grassi River tiger fish. Oh, it's the strongest fighting fish I've ever caught. It's a strong fish. It is not only the fishing that is so unique. It's experiencing a river, wild, remote and untouched. An exploration of an Africa of old. A part of the dark continent where time stands still. The Malagarasi is without a doubt one of the ultimate freshwater fishing destinations comparable to peacock bass on the Amazon or massive trout of Jurassic Lake in Argentina. So, if it's screaming reels, tail walking, angry fish and heart-pumping, gut-wrenching excitement that you are after, then join us on an exploration for tigers of the Malagarasi. I like a rusty tiger fishing. Yeah, he's there. He's there. He's there. Is that a boon do? It's that too. I don't think it's a boon do. That's a boon Make it safe and then I'll find a place ah. for us to land. Awesome, well done Scott. Thank you, thank you. In the water. Good. That's it.
Tigerfish, Malalagrassi River in Tanzania. Nice. It's pretty exciting. <laughs> 